Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we will be learning about nested loops. So how to work with nested loops. Okay, so nested loop are a part of a for loop. Okay, that is for within for that means you're writing for for loop two times when you are running a nested loop. Okay, so how nested loop works and uh, how the output comes when you're trying to use a nested loop okay and i'll show you the complete dry run dry run as in like in real time how it is working okay so before getting started if you are new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if so that you don't miss out on any videos which could help you in your coding career and stay tuned till the end of the video and don't forget to like share comment so let's get started. So first of all, uh, the first, uh, I mean, an example which I'll be taking for the nested for loop, a real basic one which we, uh, you know, get in our class 11 and 12, that is creating a triangle, okay, with the help of stars. I can say a right angle triangle maybe with the help of stars, okay, like an asterisk. So how to do that and how I will use the nested loop in that creating the, you know, triangle, let's see. Okay, so for creating a triangle, uh, it should be something like this. So let me show you how it should look like. So right angle triangle, so it would be something like this, right? It should look something like this. So if this particular triangle, I want to create it with the help of the star. So my output would look something like this, like this is one. Okay, something like this depends on you, like you know, how big you want to create it. So, okay, so suppose this is something or this is the output which we want. So this, if you see carefully, this completes a triangle, right? This is a form of a triangle if you see. So what we actually have to do is we actually have to create the triangle with the help of these stars which is there right here. Okay, so if you see carefully here, this is one row, this is the second row, this is the third row, fourth row and the fifth row. The last one is the fifth row, right? So that's we got from a real time view, like how we will, you know, get the output. What should a triangle look like if we are using it in the form of stars? Okay, now that we know there are five rows, we are considering five rows, okay, for creating the triangle. So what would be our first part? we have to do in our um, you know our studio so what would be the first step so the first step would be to define the number of rows for creating a triangle right so what would be a first command to the r studio so or i would say initialize rows okay so let me take a variable row and inside that i'll just take value as five okay so that i have defined that i'm taking number of rows equal to five okay so on the next line now we have to start the for loop okay so in for loop what we will be writing so i'll write for i in one is two rows okay because it will run from one till the number of rows which is 5 okay now next we have what we have to do is we have to write another for loop that is the nested for loop that is for inside for right so i'll take a variable j and then i in suppose i write 1 is 2i okay and then inside that you can use print, you can use cat, any one of the function in our studio in order to print it. Okay, so I'll use cat and then inside that, since I want to create the triangle with the help of a star, I'll just mention the star. Okay, now what I'll do, I'll just move on to the next line and then I'll also mention that after every star is displayed, I want to move on to a new line. Okay, so for a new line, what you have to do is you have to write slash and then an end okay so that's a forward slash right so that's our 
whole code how it, it should look so if you see once i press enter right over here this is the output which got created okay this is the output which we got so the stars are created right over here so if i just uh, you know show you carefully so this is the star how it will look like starting from here okay so one then two stars then three then four then five okay so that is what the output which we wanted right now let's see how this star got uh, you know how this we got how we got this output with the help of this particular coding with the help of nested for okay so for that in coding we use we do a, a you know a dry run we call it as a dry run so first of all let's take the first for loop so what do we have first of all write the variables we have a variable which is known as row okay next what do we have we have a variable which is known as i and then we have a variable which is known as j okay so these are the three variables which we have fine so here if you see the value of rows is 5 which is already fixed by v which because i have given rows as 5 okay next what is happening next i am taking i okay and j as a variable so now if i come to this particular first for loop so what is happening so this first for loop will be treated as i is equal to let's say 1 okay and then i is less than equal to 5 because we have mentioned rows equal to 5 okay and then i plus plus right this is what the for loop means so right over here because in our studio you have to write it in a different format so this is what it actually means so right here our i value is 1 okay now when you get inside the second for loop which is this one so second for loop if you get inside so what happens at that point of time so if you see the j value now it is here okay suppose the j value is 1 okay so j in 1 is to i that means j is equal to 1 and then j will be running till i okay that is j is less than equal to i okay that means j will run till i fine so there is a difference between the first for loop and the second for loop first for loop will run will uh, you know the i will run till number of rows that is 5 and j that is the nested for loop it will run till i okay so why we are using nested for loop over here because we have to print the stars if you see right over here in the uh, you know alternate uh, next lines okay so suppose the first star is printed and then in the second star we have to print two stars right so that is how we have to print it okay so so next what we will be doing is so next we have to go ahead and uh, you know just try to check it out like the i value the j value and the row okay suppose i take it as r so i value is 1 j value and then row value is 5 so here what's happening the first one is i is equal to 1 i is less than 5 i plus plus then it comes to the second for loop it checks j is you know uh, j is less than equal to i yes j is less than equal to i that is one and then it will print the first star okay the first star gets printed cat is used for printing the first star and it will come out and then it will execute this line of code that is cat and then slash n that means a new line so now my cursor will be here in the output in the new line okay next it will again go to this particular for loop that is the second for loop the nested for loop and it will again check i value will get incremented to 2 okay now the condition also satisfies right because i is less than equal to 5 now again it will come here and then in the next line it will give me 2 stars okay because my i value is 2 okay and then next line means it the cursor will be here and here again the i value will be incremented to 3 right from here this nested loop so here the use of the nested loop is for incrementing the i value and the first for loop is used for storing the number of rows and keep on checking if i get the number of rows and five that means this the loop will get terminated 
okay so this is how you can use a nested for loop and um, you know create uh, a right angle triangle which we got right now okay so that's a basic example how you work with nested for loop how it is being used and a overall you know real time view how it is working like the first for loop which is i how it is working and the second for loop which is j how that is working and how this particular output is being executed okay so that's a simple example which we get in our 11 and 12 classes okay so that's for the beginners so that's it for today's video i'll come up with again with some more you know coding examples related to nested loop so that it's much more clearer in advanced versions as well okay so hope you like this video if you like this video uh, go ahead and click the like button share it as much as you can with your colleagues with your you know friends with your groups so that they are aware of that nested loop is not tough it is quite simple okay you can you know practice it and you can see visualize how it is working and you can write down your code as well okay so that's it for today guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest videos and uh, we'll meet you guys on the next video again with another topic related to nested loop itself and yet an ad advanced version and an interesting output and don't comment don't try to you know uh, you know miss out the comment section below just comment down your views your um, you know queries regarding any kind of coding i'm more than happy to help you out thank you so much guys don't forget to subscribe